Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we will be doing yet another speed test comparison of the Vivo X100 with the iPhone 15 Pro. Now both of these are really powerful devices. We have the Dimensity 9300 on the Vivo X100 while this is uh, the iconic uh, Apple's A17 Pro Bionic which is one of the really powerful uh, chip out there. And uh, both of these devices uh, have really powerful hardware as well. Now on top of that uh, we have the Fun Touch OS on the Vivo X100 while this is iOS. 17. So in this video, we will be quickly looking at uh, the performance of these two devices, the app performance, app opening time, the memory management, uh, the network speed, uh, Android 2 score and also the Geekbench results for these two devices. So again, uh, pricing of the Vivo X100 is almost uh, uh, half of uh, what uh, the iPhone uh, 15 Pro has. But then again, uh, we are not comparing the pricing, we are just looking at the performance of these two devices. So before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us, the Vivo X100 and the iPhone 15 Pro. So let's just go to the uh, settings first. So there you go, about phone. Uh, this is Fun Touch OS uh, 14 and uh, we have the 3.25 GHz Dimensity 9300 Octo-core processor and 16 gigs of RAM and 512 GB uh, storage Android 14 out of the box. And uh, here we have uh, the iPhone uh, 15 Pro with A17 Pro Bionic and uh, you can see this is the iOS version 17.1.2, that's the latest version. So that's the uh, settings of these two devices. So let's just uh, connect to the same Wi-Fi network uh, so we can see here we are just connected to the airplane mode and uh, here also you can see here this is in airplane mode and connected to the same Wi-Fi network let's just clear off all the background apps on both the devices so there you go we just cleared off so we'll just clear off on the iPhone as well so there you go both the devices are now cleared off all the apps so let's start the uh, testing here and let's see which opens these apps faster and we'll also see the memory management of these two devices so let's begin so let's get started with the first uh, asphalt 9 so let's open asphalt 9 and see which opens these games faster so you can see here iphone is faster here So next uh, let's go to uh, BGMI, so let's see which opens BGMI faster. Here Vivo has taken the lead. But uh, you can see here iPhone has opened it faster. So both the games iPhone did have an edge over the Vivo X100. Next is the Play Store. Here probably uh, Vivo had a slight advantage. Uh, next is uh, Chrome browser. Almost same time I would say. Facebook. Vivo did have an advantage. Twitter. iPhone was faster. Instagram. Again, uh, Vivo was slightly faster. Spotify, probably iPhone was faster. Amazon, again iPhone is faster. Flipkart, again probably iPhone is slightly faster. File Manager, almost same time. Settings, again iPhone is slightly faster. YouTube, uh, here probably I would say Vivo was slightly faster. Gmail, Vivo is faster. Camera, iPhone is faster. Maps, probably uh, Vivo was a tad faster. So that was the speed uh, of opening of apps and uh, you can clearly see that there is no real winner but games were uh, better on uh, the iPhone by a slight margin but otherwise are uh, more or less similar in terms of performance. Both are flagship uh, great processors. So let's see the memory management of these two devices. So let's open the apps in the reverse order. So let's see if all the apps are retained in the memory. So file manager, Flipkart, Spotify, Facebook, Chrome browser, App Store, BGMI, 
BGMI is also retained and finally asphalt line. So you can see here all the apps are retained by both the devices. So memory management is really good on both the devices. Next let's go to the network speed. So we'll just uh, test the network speed of uh, these uh, two devices. So let's uh, connect uh, this to the same uh, server. So there you go. We'll just start with uh, Vivo X100. Again, you can see here similar results uh, in terms of download and upload speed. Next, let's go to the Antitude benchmark score. So this is the Antitude benchmark score for the Vivo X100, almost uh, 20 lakh. Here we have a 15 lakh score. So let's see uh, the scores. Uh, you can see here CPU score, GPU score, memory score and the UX score. But uh, iPhone's uh, uh, system or rather the ecosystem and but iPhone's uh, uh, OS and uh, processor integration is much better. Uh, so even with uh, a lower benchmark score, uh, actually uh, the Apple's A17 Pro Bionic does a really good job. Uh, now we have the Dimensity 9300, again a really powerful uh, chip from uh, MediaTek. So these are the uh, benchmark score next. So next uh, let's uh, see the Geekbench 6 results. So there you go, you can see here uh, the iPhone's uh, A17 Pro Bionic has a much better single core score and even the multi core score is higher than the Dimensity uh, 9300 on the Vivo X100. So that was uh, the uh, speed test and also uh, the benchmark uh, app uh, on these two devices so vivo x100 with dimensity 9000 uh, and uh, the iphone now uh, with uh, iphone 15 pro with uh, the a17 pro bionic chip so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day